Meghan Markle's father, Thomas Markle, has finally chimed in, calling out the slimy Carl Larson who tried to monetize an actual bus tour in Montecito, which now I believe was organized by Meghan Markle herself. We want privacy! We want privacy! Welcome to Popcorn Palace. I'm Andy Signor, and if you missed my last video over on Popcorn Planet, broke this news, and I am very proud of this thumbnail. I gotta be honest, I think this might be one of my top 10 thumbnails of Meghan and Harry trying to hit me with their own tour bus. Uh, but honestly, I think that's what's happening here. Now, I didn't have this update when I recorded that, so I wanted, I wanted to do today's daily video over on Palace here to address Meghan's own father now, Thomas, has sent a quote out, and I wanted to share that as well as extend a little bit about this topic with you over here. Uh, Megan's father hits out at claims he's involved in a tacky sightseeing tour of exclusive Montecito, where his daughter and Prince Harry live. It was reported at the weekend that Tom Markle's approved of the tour. Markle has been left deeply distressed at the exploitative scheme, say friends. For all the latest news, watch here on Popcorn Palace. So his estranged father, her estranged father, Thomas, uh, the one that she turned on and completely uh, vilified, even though he's uh, done nothing, in my opinion, wrong. Uh, that's a story I hope to uncover in the coming uh, weeks here on the channel as I learn more about what happened to the Markles. Uh, but anyway, Thomas has hit out at the reports that he's involved in a celebrity sightseeing tour, which will take tourists past daughter Megan's Montecito mansion. The bus tour advertised as Royal Celebrity Tour of Los Angeles and Montecito, our title was better, uh, is being offered by a paparazzi photographer, Carl Larson, who once worked with Mr. Markle. Notice here, even this says, once worked, because they don't still work together, guys. Last night, Mr. Markle, that's Mr. Markle himself, told Mail Online Royals, I never gave my approval to Carl Larson for any tour anywhere. I am not involved in any way. So there it is definitively. That's just false. He's using Thomas in the worst ways possible. In fact, if you see here, uh, on this uh, post here that Thomas Markle's son posted. I, sorry, I had it up in that one. Here it is. Uh, this is how it was sold, right? The world famous celebrity photo photographer, Car photo photographer, Carl Larson, best friend of Thomas Markle, Mar Megan's father, and the guy with a stunning exclusive portfolio of pictures of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle together in Montecito. I am the only person in the world that knows the truth about what happened between Meghan Markle and her father, head of her marriage to Prince Harry in 2018. I mean, like, right there you should know. Okay, this something's off with this guy. No, you're not. You're not the only person who knows this. I know a lot of people have talked to them and gotten insight from all the family members. I am the only person who has an open communication pathway between Meghan's camp and the rest of the Mar Markle family. Now, that's interesting because, yes, I think he's working for Meghan, and I think he's been there to make Thomas look bad, on Megan's behalf. There is nobody on the planet that knows more info than me, and I'm the only person that's qualified to put on such a tour. I've lived in Hollywood for 30 years and photographed everything from the Oscars to celebrity mansion parties, on Mulholland Drive, rock stars, film stars, everything between. Not only when you get an indoor, anyway, you, you get the sense here. This is, this is Thomas Markle's best friend. We are best friend. Well, no. Even Thomas Markle Jr. came forward and said, the case of a desperate man, Carl Lawson, name dropping, Claim to be best friends and the only person who knows the truth of what goes on in my family. What the F? No right whatsoever to use my dad's name. And that's the fact here. Now, I reached out to Carl to try to get comment because I had been messaging with him and I blocked him and didn't want to engage. But I, now, he's like, you're calling me a liar. I'm like, I, I'm not calling you anything, but what's going on? I had to block him. Now I've reached out. And yes, I, he's not. He's just not copping to it. He's just sort of trying to play along here as I've just rechecked at taping. No comment that I can admit. From him, he's going to continue to play that he's Thomas's best friend. Uh, Mr. Marco, who suffered a stroke last year and two heart attacks immediately before his daughter married, Prince Harry, has been left fuming and deeply distressed by the claims made at the we this weekend. Um, Larson, who reported by this, uh, was reported by the Sunday Mirror as saying that Mr. Marco approved of the tour, priced for six people, which will drive close to Sussex's 11 million mansion past Prince Harry's polo club and point out the couple's favorite restaurants and shops in Montecito. California town that they moved to in 2020 shortly after quitting Royal Life. Tour would also include Megan's former childhood homes in Los Angeles. So this is just creepy. So, and then I, probably the one where her mom lives. I don't know. I just find that creepy. Her mom's not a celebrity. Leave her mom alone. Why are you going by her mom's house? 
That is crossing the line, in my opinion. This dude, Carl, tried to buy the house next to Megan's mom and then was there like, I taped Sounds of Kids. Maybe it's that. And, and you could just tell even Thomas Markle was like, yeah, no, dude, stop. What, what is this? I, I'm not I'm not I'm not involved in this. Um, a source close to Mr. Markle said the claim that somehow Tom is involved in this tacky is tacky and frankly exploitative tour is 100% false and has left Tom angry and deeply distressed. There is no truth to any of it. He would never lend his name to something like this. Tom is not close friends with Carl Larson. So there it is. They are not the best friends uh, that Carl claims. And, and that's what's so scary about all this is he's clearly some, I don't know what he's doing there. Huge red flag city. Leave Thomas Markle alone, dude. Mr. Markle briefly took place, part in a YouTube show. It was exploited, I think, and was just put on there to try to help get back in touch with his daughter. That's really all he wants. And the, yeah, this guy sort of exploited in this weird friendship show. And uh, I don't think Tom really knew what was going on in this. He quit the show when he felt uncomfortable with some of the comments Larson made about the Sussexes. Tom may be estranged from Megan, but he loves her and would never do anything to hurt her or place her or her grandchildren in jeopardy. Hence that idea that let's secretly film them and buy the house next door. He was briefly involved in a project with this person years ago, something he came to regret. Tom has severed contact with this man and wants nothing to do with him personally or professionally. So there you go. This Carl guy is telling me, no, we're still, we talk all the time. We're best friends. Mr. Markle's son, Tom Jr. added, under no circumstances whatsoever did my father ever agree or was ever aware of such a ridiculously cheesy and embarrassing idea of being involved in a tour bus business with Carl Larson, who has no authorization to use my father's name in any ad campaign for a cheesy Hollywood tour van business. What kind of person does that? Yeah, he's just exploiting his connection that he swindled Tom into a YouTube deal. And then now we're best friends. It really, it really actually bothers me. I don't like people doing this. Exploiting people like this. Critics have slammed Larson for promoting tour. Tech entrepreneur Christopher Boozy called it an act of target harassment. I hate to agree with Boozy on something, but Boozy, we never wanted to do it this way. And we never we did not endorse this. This guy is crazy. Now I would argue with Boozy, a tour is allowed. A tour of like cele you know, the celebrity homes where you're not harassing them, you're driving by like Hollywood does and TMZ does. I, I, you can't stop that. That's legal. As long as you're not there harassing them and showing up to the school and showing up to their mom's houses and doing things like that, I, people are allowed to do drive-bys. Uh, you know, don't take me out of context. That's not, that's not what I meant. I meant drive by a house peacefully, civilly, respectfully. Not a drive-by. Uh, on one website which advertised the tour has since removed the listing, uh, Larson insisted the tour will go ahead. Friend of Mr. Marco said, Thomas focusing on his health and moving on with his life. Something like this does not does nothing but cause him more stress and harm. Oh, boohoo. Mr. Markle has been estranged from his daughter since suffering two heart attacks on the eve of a wedding, which she's now just ignored him. Dude like, was on his deathbed, strokes, and she still wouldn't show up. Um, yeah, so he couldn't walk her down the aisle. He made repeated attempts to reconcile with Megan, but has yet to hear from her. He has never met son-in-law Prince Harry or his two grandchildren, Archie, or a little bit. It's just sad, man. It's just sad. This whole thing's sad. And I and I when I first heard this story as a newbie to all this, I felt like, oh, the family is trying to exploit. But the more I've learned and actually done the homework on this, I feel bad for this family. And what Megan did to them is just gross. The way she turned on her family is so telling. And as I've now learned and listened to more of them and seen it, I just it bothers me. It really bothers me. And I hope to learn more through Samantha Thomas, Thomas Sr., Thomas Jr., because I think it's very telling, and I think Megan is doing to her family that what she's now making Prince Harry do. But Prince Harry's family is like a the royal family, and again, I don't think she really understands what that was going to do. I mean, I think she thought it would get her his attention, but I do think there's a part that's realizing it's not going her way. Do you know what I mean? That doesn't mean she's going to give up by any stretch of the imagination. But I, I want to echo again, this whole this whole thing is insane, guys. This Newsweek connection is insane. And we talked about it yesterday a bit, but I get a little bit more into it. I really think Megan might actually be behind all this. I think they tried to get me, as Paula said, I think Paula's on to something. They tried to get me. It didn't work because we were able to quote ourselves. And then they, they Carl did this thing, which they, I think, was approved and now Megan was trying to get this out there to say, see, see, look at this harasser. Look, he's good. Boozy was right. My bestie Boozy was right. 
This man needs a restraining order. Dude, I never want, I don't, I don't want to do you no know, tour bus filled with people. I mean, I considered bringing some of our fans to like help make the cost because it just be, would be nicer to do it in a bus. Uh, but in no way do I want to harass them or their kids. That was never what the intentions were. So I don't like that it got twisted. That was never the goal and intent. And we were definitely not going to actually go create a tour bus business like Carl Larson was trying to do. But I did find it amusing and crazy that it was uh, working. It seemingly was sold out, but it, apparently it's not. He hasn't sold any tickets. Uh, but yeah, you know what? Should we still do it? That's the question. Should we do it for ourselves privately? Uh, should we? Are we allowed to take a few fans if people want to help fund it so we can just do our own tour, private tour, without any harassment, no showing up at kids' houses or knocking on doors or causing a nuisance? Should we still do that? I'm curious what you guys think. And would anybody want to try to join us at half the price of what Carl was charging? Uh, tell us in the comments or hit me up on social media. I'm curious what you think about this. Uh, should we keep going? Should we do it? Would you like to see that when Steph goes to LA? Would that be a worthy uh, day trip to try? I don't know what we're going to do, but I want to hear your thoughts down below. I appreciate you guys. Make sure if you haven't already, subscribe, hit the button uh, and the bell for alerts. Smash that thumbs up if you can and leave a comment down below. And if you haven't already, head on over to Popcorn Planet and check out this afternoon's video. I get a little bit more into why I think Megan is behind this, why I think she's trying to drive a bus over me. And I'm curious if you agree with my logic. Stay tuned though for more here on Popcorn to Palace.